Let's talk about Relief Bio Powder. It is our most underrated product that we have that can do so many things. It's actually a lifesaver. It goes with our other Hush Hydrate mask and we call them our Dynamic Duo, which, can I see that mask too, Chris? Sure Hush Hydrate mask and Relief Bio Powder are Batman and Robin of our ingredients and products this this guy right here sometimes we get a lot of questions on how to open it or it won't twist or it won't it's kind of funny because it has a stopper right it does say remove chris you're gonna have to do that because i so, can't it feel says it. remove sticker turn lid yes. counterclockwise to open and clockwise to close yes people don't have powders anymore no. i mean you don't see a lot of powders out there because of all the talc issues so i think that's where they get confused i've had people tell me they have taken this off not paid attention to what this said they have tried to open it with their teeth they have tried to open it with pliers hammers like how is this going to get open so please just take the label off the top open so this time for you. this is was a originally created by Chris and Morag in the beginning. Morag created Actually, this. Actually, Morag Curran created that, who um, wrote the book on oncology aesthetics. This was, she created this for oncology patients yes. that got shingles and rashes. There's the stress on their bodies, radiation. radiation. So this was, that was what, this was originally in the line that I bought from her years ago, Code Techniche. Right, so this is gonna take us just a minute to talk about that because there's four different ways to use this, okay? Some of them I love, some of them I do not, but, <laughs> What I do, um, I have a lot of acne clients, like I said before. I have dry acne clients, grades one and two. And then I have some um, of the oily acne clients at grades three and four. So you can put this in a little bowl in your palm. however you'd like to do it. You can add a little bit of water to it and make a paste. And I always have those clients with those large uh, cystic acne down here, just put a dot where they have the acne and sleep in that. And just by making a paste, it takes out half the inflammation. I have other clients that had radiation from breast cancer. Um, under their arms, there's some very tender spots. I also have them make a paste and put it on the largest wounds. Of course, they cannot be opened wounds. They have to be sealed, but this can take the inflammation and the pain right out of it. Mosquito bites. Clients complain a lot also about itchiness, mm -hmm. um, not just of bites, but of burning or acne or any kind of ailment on the mm -hmm. body, really. Um, my sister had a motorcycle burn and, and used this very successfully with the paste on the wound and it healed within four days. You can't even tell it's a scar. Um, she should have had a huge scar there and it, and it took it away. It's wonderful. So that is one way that we use it. The second way we use it, we are gonna demonstrate in our masking video because that is the most popular to sprinkle a little bit of Hush Hydrate right into the Hush Hydrate mask and mask that on the skin. Um, sometimes people love to put this in their moisturizers. I don't really love that. That's not my favorite, but it, it's fine. And some people put it in the sunscreen. If you use too much though, it'll start to pill on the skin. Just so a careful. shake or two when you're using it with a moisturizer. But my new obsessive way to use this, right? I do put it in the bowl just like this. I think I have enough in there, right? And then I get a big fluffy makeup brush. You can buy these anywhere. You want a little bit of stiffness to the brush. You don't want it to cave completely. Um, there's smaller ones too. You know, we go to a lot of trade shows. So these are just plain inexpensive crown brushes. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but I always tell my clients if they're going to use the Relief Bio Powder, they need a brush specifically for the Bio Powder. You're not dipping it in your makeup. You're not dipping it in another powder. You're not dipping, no. It's only for your Bio Powder. So I'm not sure. Um, you can tell, but at the end of the treatments, when people are just still a little bit red, and I complete my whole treatment from start to finish, including sunscreen, okay? Then you can go in, dash a little bit on the skin. Now the brush, you can do this with your hand, but the brush makes it completely easy to blend. Our powder does have a yellow tint to it but with a brush, you blend it right into that skin. And you can take care of the redness 
on contact. Now, I love to go to schools. I love talking to our students. They're the future of our industry. So I always pick a person with red, red, red skin, and I go and do one half of their face and let them sit there through the whole class for the other half of the face, because I mean like that. Um, but it proves the point on how well it stays on the skin. I have clients use this every single day as their powder. Now this little girl right here, I'm gonna turn her head if this is possible. She has a little rash right here. Do, there we go, it's better. Due to some allergies here in the state where she lives, it's just a red little tiny rash. So if the brush is too big, can you guys see the redness there? I think I'm gonna have to use my finger. Well, it's the funny thing, when people get our samples of this product, we have it in a little flip top container and they're like, what do we do with this makeup? Now, Shauna's kind of using it like makeup mm -hmm. right now, it's but it's really a treatment. And when you can see how she mixes it with the hydrate and the other ways to use it, but it's not just a makeup. A lot of clients that use this and get that redness and rosacea all the time, they'll take a little container at home and take a brush and travel with them so and that they can reapply can it during the day. See that, that redness is gone. She still does have it a little bit on this side. Do you see the redness? So what's in there that really helps with this, and besides a little bit of yellow tint color in there to counteract the redness in the skin, is there's calamine in there, there's totoral in there, there's willow herb in there, just a lot of different botanical extracts that you know are gonna calm the skin. And I really don't know any really any other brands that really have something like mm -hmm. this. It's kind of a unique product and a little bit different, there but we wanted go. to show you some different ways to use it because there's a lot my of different ways. Way right there. Um, and what Chris, I'm going to repeat what Chris said because a lot of clients after even enzymes or AHAs, especially the BHAs, they complain that their skin is itchy. It's all over. It's not a rash. It's not anything that you did to the skin, but it is the circulation, the tingleness, tingliness, activity. the activity of the product. Um, this can immediately stop that on contact. So if anybody complains about any redness, burning, ir itchiness is the one that there aren't a lot of products that really target the itchiness and that's what I love about this and again I sugar if you do the brows the lip especially full face you can brush this on right after it takes care of the redness they can go to the store pick up their kids and do whatever they like without the big red mark so relief bio powder use it many ways and it is honestly the healer this one I always take with me everywhere um, just to help people out yeah, um, I keep it in my bag when I travel because mm -hmm. you never know if you're using, if you forget your cleanser or something. And remember one time I was in Vegas, I used the soap bar because my daughter was in the shower with the <laughs> shampoo. And the next morning I woke up and my face was red. Just I was able to mi put this, mix this in with even our hush hydrate during the day to calm it down but it's a great just rescue product for us. It is, that's the word rescue. Mm -hmm. um, Chris and I were um, at a different event a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And sometimes when you're an oncology trained esthetician, you just do things you gotta do. And a girl came up to us and she had just gone through radiation and had burns all over under her arm and the breast. And I said, well, I had no gloves. My friend was selling brushes at her booth. I stole one, I still owe her $8. Sorry, Melissa. Um, and I took the girl into the bathroom and of course, at that point, when you've had surgery, she's not shy. I'm not shy because I see everything of the body. Um, and she just took her shirt off, raised her arm, and we directly, I lathered her up with Hush Hydrate first and calmed and cooled the skin. And I did just this. I took my bio powder. I didn't have cups, I didn't have gloves, I had nothing. Put it on a paper towel, um, tried to do it the cleanest way possible. And it brought tears to her eyes, the relief that she felt in just that five minute escapade in the bathroom. Um, so you could really help people with this tremendously if you have relief bio powder in your treatment room. Mm -hmm. It's a staple everyone should have.